Newton's first law states that an object that isn't moving tends to stay that way until an outside force acts upon it and an object in motion tends to stay in motion. Oreo is at rest. She will stay at rest until acted upon by an outside force. The forces acting on Oreo are normal force and gravitational force. On the diagram, the arrows or vectors are equal in length. This indicates that the forces are balanced and the object is still. When forces are balanced, the net force is zero. The hula hoop is moving at a constant speed. When the sheep hits it, it decelerates to a stop. On a free body diagram representing constant speed, the forces acting upon it are normal force and gravitational force. Similar to the diagram representing an object at rest, the vectors are equal in length, indicating that the force is balanced. A balanced force can mean that the object is either at rest or a constant speed. On a free body diagram representing an accelerating object, the length of the vectors can vary depending on the forces acting upon it. In this example diagram, the forces on the object are normal force, gravitational force, and applied force. Since there is no friction force opposing the applied force, the force is unbalanced. This means the object is accelerating. The forces are not balanced, so the net force is not zero. Newton's second law states that net force equals mass times acceleration. The empty cart has a mass of 2 kilograms and an acceleration of 6 meters per second. The cart with the person has a mass of 12 kilograms and an acceleration of 1 meter per second. Both times the cart is pushed with a force of 12 newtons, but since the mass increases when a person is in the cart, the acceleration decreases. This is an example of the fact that the mass and acceleration are inversely proportional. Newton's third law states when an object exerts force onto another object, the second object exerts back a force that is equal to the first one in the opposite direction. Emily and Rachel's masses are the same and they are pushing with an equal force. Therefore, they accelerate at the same rate. However, there is a difference in Katie and her sister's mass, so when they push with an equal force, their accelerations are different. Katie's sister accelerates faster because she has less mass. 